All right, welcome to Everything XR. Today we're going to talk about putting a phone mount in place of this GPS unit. So this is my 2020 S1000 XR. I didn't want to have a GPS unit. I wanted to be able to mount the phone up there. And so I'll show you how to remove this, show you what parts you need to get, and here we go. To remove this plate, first you need to take your key, insert it there, get a half twist. Now this is not very intuitive. Come around here. On the back side there is a little lever. You need to pull that out. Okay. And then you got this little deal here. When you pinch that in, notice up here you'll see the red come. See, and that red's there. You'll know that's unlocked. So go ahead and pull the top out and then it lifts straight out. Now, on the inside, you'll know this works on yours if you have nine pins down, two pins across. It's gonna match right up with the back of this mount here. The GS motor is what it's called. It's got a power pigtail here on the right side. You won't need that as long as you've got the correct pins. To install this, you'll just need to make sure these pins line up with those pins. Put the bottom end in first, and then to get the top end in, you'll have to hold this lever in again. So let's line that up. Bottom in first. Push that lever back there. And there we go. Just give that a little tug, especially on the top end. Make sure that's secure. Uh, remember on the back side, this lever we pulled out. Go ahead and push that in, at which time you can now turn your key, take it out. This phone mount is now locked in there. That's not going anywhere. It does make it a little more difficult to reach the windscreen adjustment, especially when your phone's in there. Let's work on that now. Okay, so if we pull that down, slide the phone on in, there it is. There you go, you got your phone installed. Again, that's, that's not coming out of there. It does wobble a little bit. I do worry uh, with phones with optical, optical image stabilizers, that vibration can actually damage your camera. So I'm not sure that I'll be riding with my Pixel 5 in here. I have an older phone that I'll probably use for navigation. Keep this new one in my pocket. So again, I'll show you, that does make it more difficult to adjust this. That's, that's the only downside that I can think of. Let's give you a look with the motorcycle on. Now included it with the phone mount is this USB cable. We got USB A to micro USB and lightning port. I had my phone uses USB-C and I didn't want gold so I went ahead and picked up a USB-C cable nice and short and bonus it's black. Right here let's see there are two USB ports let's get in there. two USB ports with little water protective covers on them. You pull that down you can go ahead and put this cable in. There we go. Turn that right there. Plug it into the phone, and then it won't charge when the motorcycle's off, but that's not a big deal. Start her up. Let's see. There we go. We don't even need the motor on. It's charging right there. And that's it. Any questions? Just leave a comment below. Thank you.